Sivvy here. I want to talk to you this week about something that really inspired me from episode four of the Gilda Mama show. If you haven't caught up with that yet, I interviewed Tamara May. Now, Tamara is a physical therapist who specializes with pelvic floor issues for women. And she taught us all about how to Kegel properly, how to do a proper Kegel exercise for the pelvic floor, and also what to do about some of the most common pregnancy discomfort. Um, it was really interesting because when I was expecting um, pretty much all of my babies, <laughs> except for the last ones that I already had a, I had a home birth midwife, um, I would go to, I would go for a checkup and I would tell my healthcare provider that I had a certain ache or pain and their answer was always the same. Well, you're pregnant. And it was like, okay, I accept that I'm pregnant, but it's not something that I wanted to accept that when you're pregnant, you have random aches and pains and you're just going to feel Pretty, and there's nothing you can do about that because you're pregnant. Later, I learned that that was not so. But even if I would speak to somebody else, you know, maybe I was talking to a friend and I might mention a little bit of a, an ache or something, I still would sometimes get the answer, well, you're pregnant. And I reject that. <laughs> Our bodies, women's bodies, are designed to be pregnant. We are designed to have babies. We're designed to feed our babies, to love our babies, to take care of our babies. And accepting every sort of ache and pain as while you're pregnant, that stops us from searching for answers. Now, I'm not saying that we should go crazy and search for everything and you know run all over the internet or run to different practitioners but it is worth checking things out sometimes. For example, when I spoke with Tamara, I had mentioned that I personally had sciatica pain during some of my pregnancies. And I specifically remember trying to find an answer for it. And I specifically got that answer while you're pregnant. What's, what's the question even? But the stretch that Tamara showed us could possibly have alleviated my pain. It was so simple. It was just a forward bend, touching your toes and stretching out that area of the body. It was something really simple. And I feel like when we're pregnant, there's this stigma that something's wrong with your body. You're in an unnatural situation. Just go on with your life. You're going to have aches and pains and there's nothing you can do about it. Be grateful that it's not worse. All those types of things. And that's not encouraging. Not to anybody. So in, in any time in life, that's not encouraging. But especially when we're expecting a baby to know, to think about, no. My body is designed to do this. My body is designed to feed the baby. My body is designed to grow the baby. My body is designed to birth the baby. If something's bothering you, I really want you to feel encouraged to look into it, to check it out. If you're having a pain somewhere, if something feels not right, if breastfeeding isn't going smoothly, it could be that the answer will possibly be that this is just normal and this is a stage, but it's not always that way. And also so many things that our culture today accepts as normal. They're actually not so normal, right? I had spoken about in one of the other videos how our culture has changed, right? People used to live in villages and with you had a multi-generational home. You would have your grandmother, your aunts, sisters, their children, everybody oftentimes living under one roof. So by the time it was your turn 
to have a baby, you may have seen everything, all the different scenarios in front of you, and that might just be normal. But today, everything is separated and sterilized, and we're just learning about our bodies. Oftentimes, there are many, many things that the most modern technology does not have an answer for. But sometimes you can find a wise woman who does have the answer and women who have seen many, many, many pregnancies or many, many, many births. And they actually have some amazing, amazing ways to help you, which is one of the reasons why I did start the Ula Mamas in order to bring some of these wise women to you so that you could enjoy their wisdom and the things that they have to offer. Um, I wanna ask you for a favor. If you enjoy what you're hearing today or you have enjoyed some of the other Gaula Mama shows and you know of someone else who might enjoy these shows, if you could please let her know about them because that's the only way we can share this information and get it out there and try to help each other join together and bring the geula as we're trying to do, but at least even these mini geulas within ourselves. When I go from a space of feeling that I, like my body's not working right and I'm unhealthy or something is unnatural and I move into a place of trusting myself and getting healing, feeling better, knowing that I'm in a good space, my body knows what to do, Hashem has my back, it's going to be okay, it's all good. That's a personal geula. And that's something that I want for you. And I want for every, every, every member of Neshe Yisrael. So I'd like you to have a wonderful day. And remember that I love you. Mm -hmm.